Hey guys, this is Jessica Lynn of JessicaLynnOriginal.com and today we are going to use the Brothers Scan and Cut to create a graduation card. The card that we're going to create is for someone I know who has a long-term plan of someday getting to work for the Dodgers. Let me put it this way. She can spit off statistics about baseball, specifically Dodgers, but most baseball, better than some of the guys I know. It's amazing. I've, I've never seen it before, and she is phenomenal, and I wish her all the best, and I cannot wait to see her name someday on the Dodgers list of employees. So let's go ahead and make her a card. So the first thing we do is run the design I have through my brother's scan and cut. And again, this card is being only made for my friend. It is truly not something that'll be sold, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and use the brother's scan and cut to just crop in the logo because I want to be able to put it in a certain placement. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to try not to waste a lot of paper. So I'm going to scan it in, let it find the logo. And then what I will do is actually turn it into a scan file. So now that I've got the file ready to go, you can see I've got it sitting on the desktop of the Brother Scan and Cut, and I can scroll it around, but the problem is, is it was divided out into two parts, so I didn't like how that looked. So I went ahead and clicked on the Home button, which is that little house, and I couldn't get it to just delete. So I click on the little house, delete the pattern, and start over. Not a big deal. It's saved, so I just have to scroll back down to it. So I'm going to leave it where it is. And I decided not to move it because I didn't want to screw it up. So we're going to go ahead and leave it where it is. And I'm just going to scan my sheet of paper in so that I can see where it actually is laying. And it's one of the things I really like is that it will scan the paper and then you can optimize it for that sheet of paper. So if you're just using scraps, it's kind of cool. Or like if you have um, a little bit of vinyl left and you want to try and squeeze a certain pattern or shape, it's super easy to do. When the brother scan and cut is actually cutting, it's probably my favorite part of the whole process because I think it's so much fun to watch the shape that I requested come to life. Um, I love doing that in like different kinds of papers and such. My original thought would have been to have cut this out of the glitter and then do white on the background, maybe flip it. But I realized that um, I only have one blade right now and my worry is that the glitter paper would probably, one, get all caught up in it, and two, I didn't want to scratch up the blade so that I'd have to go buy another one right now, because they don't go very quickly as long as you are cautious with what you're cutting. So now I've got it all done, and you can see, go ahead and just peel that up so I can show you what it looks like. It looks really good. This is going to be a beautiful card. I'm really excited to to see how it turns out. I 
and you can see look at how nice and crisp again that's just because I do good blade maintenance on my brother's skin and cut which is really really important All right, so let me go ahead and just get my mat all set. And the next step is we're actually gonna cut out the rectangle of the glitter. So what I did was I measured the size of the card and then I brought it in about a fourth of an inch all the way around because I didn't want it solid glitter. I wanted to have a white around it so it had a little bit of contrast. Um, Warning about the glitter paper. Glitter paper is amazing. It is also extremely messy, but it looks beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. It looks absolutely beautiful, but it is very messy. So just make sure um, if you have other cards that you're working on, just clean up or get a little duster, you know, a little fan to blow out the air or something. I went ahead and put some glue over the back of the logo and then what I'm going to do is line it up and I'm going to try and see if I can get it to kind of go diagonally. I think it'll fit pretty well. Um, I had to go really heavy on the glue because with all the glitter sometimes the logo that you put on there or if you put extra layers of paper it will come off. So I put extra extra glue on there and then I just cleaned up all the cobweb in between once it kind of settled, but I love it. I think it looks so pretty with the glitter paper and the white. She's gonna love it. Now, to kind of clean it up just a little bit more, I have a little rounded edge tool that I bought forever ago. It's an EK Success, and all it does is it just rounds the edges off. Um, I always think that when you do that, it just kind of gives it a little finished look, especially if it's a very simplistic card. And there's my little edge rounder. I love it. Oh my gosh. Let me just tell you, after doing the video where I could only use like scissor and paper and all of that, to be able to bring back my brother's scan and cut, my, um, my die cuts, my edge uh, rounders, my adhesive, not the glue tape. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you how that feels. It was just a feel of just relief. Um, I'll link that video up above. There'll be a little link up above if you want to see it. I did a challenge where I was only able to use the first eight tools that I had purchased when I started card making 14 years ago. So it was a challenge. And I felt like if I published that, my cards would not be good enough. Or my card that I made would not be good enough. So. It was a really weird feeling. So to have my brother scan and cut back and all my tools at my dispense made me feel a lot better. So I just went and changed out my glue because for some reason my adhesive got all wound up on itself. So it happens. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the whole back up because I wanna make sure that this is not moving anywhere from this card. And uh, oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to hear what she thinks of it. I get to give it to her t on uh, the 16th, so that will be good. So this video will probably post about the same time that I'm giving her this card, so that's kind of fun. 
So let me go ahead and just center that with a little bit on the top and on the edges. And then we're just gonna shellac it down, fold the back side. Don't forget to sign the back of your cards. Remember, it's your creation and um, it's so much fun to have your autograph on there because family and friends will see it many years from now and be like, oh, you know, that person made this card for me and that's so sweet. I mean, I even keep cards from like my great grandmother and my grandmother and stuff because it has their signatures on it. So it means a lot to me. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look at this card. I think that she is going to love it. I mean, it was not a hard card to make, but if I would have had to use a pair of scissors, I would not have been able to do this. So thank you, brother, scan and cut. And again, I just want to take a moment and say thank you so much for watching our video. My name is Jessica Lynn. I am the artist and owner of JessicaLynnOriginal.com. We are located in the United States. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you join us. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think of this card? Have you ever tried to do something like this? Um, have you ever scanned in using your brother's scanning cut? Well, thank you again, and I hope that you have a great day.